Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an Alexa skill that uses DynamoDB to store information in the, uh, the back end for your skill. And we're going to use a template from DabbleLab.com. So if you're not watching this video on DabbleLab.com, head over to DabbleLab.com and then go to the templates menu. And from the templates list, you want to find template number 10, which is this Alexa DynamoDB skill template. And we're going to download the source code for that. Uh, you'll need to log in to download the source code. If you don't have an account, you can get one for free by just clicking that need an account link there. And once you're logged in, you'll get access to the template details page, which includes a video. All the templates include a tutorial video that walks through how to set the template up. And that's what you're watching right now for this one. And this template requires um, the, the Ask CLI. So if you're not familiar with the Ask CLI or you haven't used it, check out this tutorial down here first under related tutorials. And that's how to set up the Alexa skills kit command line interface. This um, note here for our purposes, you, you can just ignore because we're going to work right from the code that we uh, that we download. And also now, um, if you have any questions as you're going through any of these uh, tutorials, we've added um, the uh, ability to ask questions and leave comments and whatnot down here. So you can do that and we'll respond just as quickly as possible. So for starters, download the source code and it's going to download as a um, zip file. So once you've downloaded it, you want to unzip it. And then all of the um, template code source code that we're going to use is in this folder, uh, Alexa DynamoDB skill template master. And we're I'm going to just work within this folder in Visual Studio code, but you can use whatever code editor is your preferred code editor. And so I'm gonna go over to, uh, to Visual Studio code and this is the download folder. So I'm just gonna open this up uh, in Terminal, which is integrated in Visual Studio code. And then um, I can run the ask commands here. And so again, uh, in this tutorial, we're not going over how to set up and use the Ask CLI, so uh, check out that other video that I referenced if you're not familiar with what's going on here. But at this point, you would just do Ask Deploy, like that. And this is going to deploy the template. And that is working right now. And what's happening when uh, it's being deployed is it's gonna push the skill out to the Alexa developer console, and then it's gonna push the backend code, the Lambda function out to AWS. So you'll need a, an Amazon developer account, which uh, if you've got the CLI set up, you have, and um, an AWS account, which you probably have if you have the CLI set up. But if you don't, you can get the developer account at developer.amazon.com, and those you can get for free, and you can get the um, uh, AWS account at aws.amazon.com. The AWS account, there is, there are, um, you will need to provide a credit card to get that account. And uh, there is a free tier, um, but you want to make sure that you're uh, clear on what the uh, what the charges are. Nothing that we're doing in here will run you over the, the free tier, but you definitely want to know what the uh, the costs, um, uh, costs are. All right, so let's go see how we're doing here. It looks like it's deployed. So if we could go back over here to our developer console and just refresh this, we should see the skill. There it is. And so this is the uh, the DynamoDB um, starter template that's deployed now. And if we try to if we try to test it out right now, um, we're going to get an error uh, because we also need to go into the um, the AWS management console and add the, um, the DynamoDB table. And there is, well, let's, I'll show you like the, what happens when you try to test it now. So that's the invocation name for the template by default. There was a problem with the requested skills response. And so the problem is if you go over to AWS to um, Lambda and find the function that was deployed, the Lambda function, it's this one here. 
And if we just real quickly look at the CloudWatch logs, we can see what the issue is. So um, this here uh, couldn't create the table. So it needs a table named DynamoDB starter for starters. And that's also referenced if you look in the readme in the, uh, uh, this here. So there needs to be a table called DynamoDB um, starter. And then we need a schema uh, with uh, user ID as the partition key and then movie title as the sort key. So we're gonna go back over to AWS and, uh, and set that up. So over here, we'll go find DynamoDB. You can just filter it here, or I'm gonna go to my history. And then we're gonna create our table here. And the table is DynamoDB-starter. And then um, user ID is the partition key. And then the sort key is gonna be movie title. Like that and then um, create and there's one more thing that we need to do now that we have our table created we need to give our lambda function permission to access the uh, table so we're going to need to give it um, add DynamoDB uh, permissions to the role and so we'll go back um, over to DynamoDB or to lambda rather and um, go to our function and then if you scroll down to the uh, the execution rule down here, it created an execution rule called um, ask Lambda DynamoDB Starter Alexa. And if we open that up in IAM, um, it, it does not include any permissions that would allow it to uh, access that DynamoDB table that we created. So we're gonna attach policy, uh, policy here to do that. And I am, going to, uh, to to keep this simple. I'm just gonna attach this Amazon DynamoDB uh, full access. This is not a best practice. You, you, you don't wanna provide um, full access because it doesn't require full access. You could get away with, um, I think, just uh, a few of these like update. Um, uh, yeah, n not all of these, so. Um, we're going to do this for right now uh, to make it work, but if this were a production skill, you'd want to take the time to just select the more granular permissions that are required. So that is added. And now that that's added, we should have everything set up where we can go back to the Alexa developer console and test. So we'll head back over to the developer console and try this uh, one more time. What am I doing? Hello there. What is your favorite movie? You can say add movie name to add your favorite movie or say list my movies to get your favorite movies. I'll say add Star Wars. You have added movie Star Wars. You can say add to add another one or remove to remove movie. And I'll add Star Trek. You have added movie Star Trek. You can say add to add another one or remove to remove movie. And then I'll remove Star Trek. You have removed movie with name Star Trek. You can add another one by saying add. Okay, we'll leave that for now. We'll go back over to the uh, AWS management console and um, go take a look at the DynamoDB table that we created and see what we've got in there. So we added two movies and removed one, so we should only have one in there. We'll go to the table and then DynamoDB starter and then to the items. And then here you can see we've just got our one item, which is Star Wars. We had Star Trek and I removed it, um, but that is what this template is doing, kind of a, an example of how you would um, set up a skill to add and remove uh, information to a uh, DynamoDB backend. If you go into the skill code, and you look in the Lambda custom folder, most of the work is being done by this file here, this dbhelper.js. So if you're interested in how uh, the, uh, the, the calls are made, um, it's using the uh, AWS SDK 
and it's pretty straightforward it's pretty simple but you can get an idea of how it works um, uh, in there and then how it's being called in the uh, in the, the skill itself by looking at the index or at the lambda function for the skill by looking at the index.js file and so hopefully um, hopefully this is helpful there if you if you do have any questions um, you can leave those under here like i mentioned we just added that and we'll respond to those just as quickly as possible and thanks so much for watching